donate a lot of time, money, and stitching to help people they will never meet or even see. They're pretty special. They provide special quilts to area first responders so they can give them to people who could use a warm feeling of a handmade quilt. KCRA3's Richard Sharp shows us why they do it. Drugs. So here's where we keep all of our medications. Needles. Uh, 18 gauge, 14 gauge. And all kinds of life saving equipment, all at an arm's length. Neb, neb mask, uh, BVM to neb. But in a sterile environment where the equipment can be cold and impersonal, there is one thing with a homemade feel. This here, this is where we keep our quilts. Handmade quilts to give to children or the elderly, anyone who needs a personal touch in their time of need, their emergency. That feeling that somebody cared about them in their moment of emergency, and we can make that that much better for them, how awesome is it that we can do it? With experienced eyes, steady hands, and meticulous care, a group of quilters works on their latest batch of quilts. They have made 218 quilts so far this year. They open their hearts and their arms, and they give time, um, money, fabric, just to help people that they don't get to meet, they never see. The Antelope Quilt Guild has 75 quilters. They donate their creations to four organizations, Metro Fire, the Law Enforcement Chaplaincy, Mercy General, and a veterans organization. I sew every day. It might be for an hour, but then it might be eight hours, but I sew every single day. Each quilt takes 10 to 20 hours to make. All right, now let me see if I can get this working. To get the job done. We divide and conquer. Someone makes the blocks, someone else does the sashing, another person puts the layers together or quilts, then it's handed off to a binder for the final touches. Many loving hands making quilts that will give someone in need the warmth they deserve. It's a wonderful feeling to know that we're helping the community at different levels. In Sacramento County, I'm Richard Sharp, KCRA 3 News.